With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is the wavelength of the third line of the Balmer series for a hydrogen atom is. So if we talk about this question, then Balmer series means that the lower energy level is going to be two, right? That the transitions are going to be taking place when the lower energy level is going to be fixed at two. That is how Balmer series correspond to, right? So the third line means now if n one is two, the n two values can be three, four, five, six, and so on, right? So the first line corresponds to the transition of three to two. Second line corresponds to the transition of four to two, and the third line corresponds to the transition of five to two. So in this case, n two is going to be equal to five. Now applying the Rydberg formula, we will get one by lambda R H one upon n one square minus one upon n two square. Right? R H is the Rydberg constant, and as we are talking about hydrogen atom, we are not taking z square here because that is going to be one only. So we will get one by lambda is equal to R H. One upon two square minus one upon five square, and this will come out to be equal to R H one by four minus one by twenty five, and this means that one by lambda will be equal to twenty one by hundred R H. And what will be the value of the wavelength? Wavelength will be equal to hundred by twenty one R H, right? And this is going to be the correct answer. For the question, for class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.